trial attorney and law enforcement analyst, Andrea Lewis. All right, Andrea, let me start with you. And let's start right there. Um, this whole idea of filing these frivolous lawsuits at the same attorney, as he mentioned in the previous lawsuit by Ronald Jones, and with this particular lawsuit, we've seen these types of things before. What do you make of this assertion that these are just filings meant to garner interest, meant to drum up bad publicity, which I would imagine hopefully leads to settlements? Very good question. Uh, so I have handled many sexual assault cases, sexual uh, harassment and other sex crimes, both as a prosecutor and in my civil practice. In fact, that is a, to a large extent what I do on a day to day basis. I've handled many of those cases against powerful people, celebrities and others just like Mr. Combs here. This case reeks of a case where he is neck deep in this, his sons clearly have involvement in this, and th there is a much bigger problem here than I think that has even surfaced at this point. Now, why do I say that? Because you have an orchestrated uh, effort here by multiple law enforcement agencies throughout at least three different states that we've heard of. They've come together, executed warrants. They've. Th this is a wide scale investigation with the federal government. That just doesn't happen if these are made up charges, if this is a money grab of some sort. That's nonsense. The, the evidence in this case, even as it's come out so far, certainly would lead a, 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 an observer to come to the conclusion that there is something very wrong going on here in this man's orbit and with the people that he surrounds himself with. And frankly, he may very well be the center of that problem. And I think Sean Combs has a lot of problems on his plate.